What's going on, the friends? My name is Mtradurates, and welcome back to another episode of Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door for the Nintendo Switch. We're all off top last time. We revealed the location of where the next Crystal Star is, and that is behind, uh, and that is in a place known as Bogley Woods. And now in this part, we are going to go there in this episode. So before we do that, uh, if you go behind Franklin's house, there is a star piece right there. You could have got that much earlier. Uh, I just didn't, uh, I kind of forgot about it. Uh, now, we are going to head into this pipe, because this is where we need to go. Usually, this is how we're going to get to uh, most of the areas in the game, that is through via Little Rogue Port sewers. Oh, hey, who is that? Let's, uh, let's follow, let's follow this guy, shall we? Oh man, where is that guy going? Let's uh, keep following. Oh! It caught me. Mario, did you see that? That was one of those things for us to fr uh, frankly describe. Yeah, okay, did I get this? I, I did get that. Okay, good. Alright. Alright, so I actually want to show something off. Okay, so, with our new move that we just learned, which is multi-bonk for Goombella, this is what it looks like. It's essentially power bounce, but with Goombella. Yeah, and uh, the timing window for multi-bonk is essentially the same as uh, power bounce, where it's 7761, uh, 5321, that's the frame windows for uh, each um, jump. Uh, again, I don't understand why they decided to nerf the heck out of this move, and it's not like this move wasn't was even overpowered to begin with. Uh, but it's unfortunate. Hopefully, maybe they make an update to fix that. I don't know. I'm recording this in its early development currently, where no updates have been made at the moment. Oh, hey! We'll come back here! Eek! Don't eat me! Huh? Uh, you didn't come to eat me? And you're not bullies? Guess again, nerd! For real? Phew! Boy, that's good. I thought for a second I might have had an accident. You're one of the creatures from Bobby the Woods, right? What are you doing here? What? Why do you know about me? No! You must be! You guys are working for these x knots aren't you? You chased me here. Oh my gosh, you're so crazy right now. What the, world, what the freak are you talking about? We're not gonna do anything to you, so chill for a sec. Just tell us what's going on. Well, okay, this gang of bad guys who call themselves X-Knots came to where I live. They came inside our tree and started tearing it apart and causing trouble. So, I came all the way here looking for help. Okay. That sounds like those guys who attacked us in Rogueport, right? If they're the same guys, then they're definitely after the Crystal Star. Now that you mention it, they did say something about some crystal star thingy, but we punies don't know anything about any crystals or stars. Say, could you guys help us out? Maybe chase them off? If you do, we'll give you a... What was it? The crystal star? If you do, we'll have the puny elder give you that. I don't know what it is, but if it'll help us reclaim our tree, I'm sure the elder will agree. So what do you say? Let's not waste any more time. I'm begging you. Really? You aren't joking? You'll do it? I guess. I mean, we can't just ignore them, right? And we do need to find the Crystal Star before those X whatever guys do. I, I like that. X whatever guys. I'm gonna call them that. My name is Punio. Pleased to meet you. I'll take you to where I live. Follow me, okay? It's this way. Alrighty then. Wait, hang on a second. I'm sure the puny elder said some button around here opened the secret entrance. Aha! Oh man! So you can uh, you go to the right, but if you go to the left, then you can get yourself this badge over here, which is called Damage Dodge. Damage Dodge is a badge that when you block using your action man, you actually block one more damage. So you actually defend two uh, damage. So all enemies that do two damage, you can block uh, them completely negating their attack power. Alrighty then, so with that, it's on the head inside.
Alright, welcome to Bogley Woods. Everything's all pale in here. It's like, it's colorless, pretty much. Oh, what is this? Wee hee hee, time to go to work, lo lovelies. Vivian, you understand what we've got to do, yes? Mm-hmm. A, find that Mario guy, and B, steal the map to the Crystal Stars, right? We can just do away with Mario and his friends, can't we? Or is that bad? Oh, bad things happen all the time, Vivian, but you're right about our goals. If my information is correct, Mario should be coming down this road quite soon. You must ambush him here and get that map. Hmm? What's this now, Vivian? What are you fawning over there? Oh, you mean this? I found it near that tree over there a while back. Isn't that gorgeous necklace? It was so lovely, I just had to pick it up. Hmm, Vivian, for shame, pick up someone's scraps? Disgusting, greedy! But enough about that, Vivian, my dear pack rat. Bring out the sketch of that Mario guy that you got from Grotus. Mwee hee hee! What? I don't have that. You said it was way too important, so you took it. You should have it. Don't be ridiculous. I don't have that thing. You were in charge of that. Okay, so I'm hearing two different stories. Which one is that here? Blame me for something you probably screwed up. But I... Uh-oh. I think we've been spotted. What is it, Marilyn? What's that? A mustachioid fellow? This is no time for such nonsense, you great oaf. Save your games for later. Oh, okay. So I guess I guess I guess uh, your current mission is not important. I see. All right. Look, it's not my fault. I never had the sketch. Okay. Well, if you say you never had the sketch, I guess I guess it can't be your fault, right? Oh, great. How dare you talk back to me like some rebellious child. It's clear to me that the only rationale you understand is force. For your punishment, I'll be taking your, that necklace you just found. Yes, so sorry. But Beldum, oh, you're horrid. Okay. I guess while we're... If they claim that they're after me and they're kind of distracted with their own problems, then I guess we just leave them be. What do you have to say here? What am I to do? Uh, go, uh. What is it, Mr. Mustache? Leave us. Oh, okay. Alright, well, I guess, uh, I guess, I guess I'm not important to you. I mean, I, I may as well just take advantage of it. Oh, shoot! We have, uh, some enemies. And, uh, this is the music for, uh, chapter two. Uh, like I, I, like I said in the, uh, last chapter, that, um, every, uh, chapter has their own, um, music. Um, and, uh, it's, it's really cool, um, that, that, uh, they decide to add that type of, uh, touch of quality in, uh, this version of the game. Um, which is why I'm showing this battle off. Oh, dang! Alright, so let's uh, go ahead and, and do another power smash on because right now our current attack powers is strong enough, so... Okay, very nice. Very nice. Alright. Oh, and the fanfare is different, too. Um, that matches with the theme of the music. It's, it's so cool. I like it. Okay, but here we actually have an actual new enemy here, so here we go. So these enemies are called Pale Piranhas. Um, so Pale Piranhas have 4 HP with 2 attack power, and uh, they will pretty much eat you uh, for 2 damage. Um, and uh, the way you time their, uh, like, they're, like, blocking their move, it's a little bit awkward, so hopefully I can pull it off, especially when you're super guarding. So, let's go ahead and tattle these guys, just like usual. And let's see if I can pull up a block here. I'm gonna pull up a block, because I think uh, with these types of enemies it's easier. So here we go. Boom, just like that. And then we go and keep on going. Ooh, there's a honey syrup right there. I'll gladly take that. Alright, and now we keep on going. Now that we defeated some of those enemies there. Uh, you cannot jump on power plants. Um, so you do have to uh, use hammer as well as use coops. Oh. 
There! Can you see it? That big tree! That's what I was telling you about. That's where we punies live. That's home. Uh, of course, it's not just us in the tree. Lots of jabbies and piters, too. Well, anyway, Mario, follow me. Okay. Will do. Alright. Let's see what we got going on. Wow. Check this out. Well, take a look. This door wasn't here before. Someone just installed it. And I can't open it. I thought I could finally save everyone. I'm a fool. Hey, don't take it so hard. It does look sturdy, though. What do we do now? Uh. Uh, hmm. I got it! Mario, over here! Okay. Long ago, the puny elder told me about a secret entrance somewhere around here. We'll get in that way. The problem is, I doubt finding it is going to be easy. I mean, I won't be labeled secret entrance. I mean, why would a, why would a secret entrance be labeled secret entrance? That's not so secret if there was some label indicating that there is clearly a secret entrance. Clearly, the secret entrance is hidden somewhere, so you have to actually put in some effort into finding it. Flurry? Surely Madam Flurry's powers can help us. Flurry is our fine and dignified lady who lives in these woods. The elder says she's a wind spirit who can wield the powers of the air with ease. You see where I'm going with this? Uh, okay, so we're about to meet some legendary cle uh, creature of the woods, probably. Okay. I see where it's going. Ah, these woods are the most wonderful in all the world. Yes, indeed. Building a house here was just the finest idea I ever did have. Oh my, yes. This way is so different from the bright flash bulbs of the world I'm used to. Such peace, this negative image of the real world soothes my body and soul. But what's even better is that I, Madame Flurry, grow even ever more lovely here. Plus, those squishy, adorable little punies that live in that tree are so nice to me. But I suppose if I stay here too long, I'll begin to crave hustle and bustle before long. Oh, oh my, it's happening even as I speak. Already, I feel the need for drama. That moment of exhilaration when the spotlight shines down on the stage on me. Surely I was born to be an actress for the ages. It's settled then. I shall rise again. But before I make my stage come back, I simply must whip my body and mind into shape. I'll just have to put on some makeup and make my beauty even more beautiful. Wait a moment. No! It's gone! Gone, I tell you! My... My... Meanwhile, let's make a way out of the tree. These jumps over those gaps are pretty precise. In the, the, the 2D section, the controls in the 2D sections are kind of weird. I'll just say that real, right, right now. So right here is another in coupon. Hammer these trees for some coins. And what the heck are you doing here? So he's here as well. And this time he's gonna buy you some items. He's gonna sell you some items if you'd like. I'm not really interested in any of the items currently. It's all hot stuff, really? Yeah, sure. It's gonna keep on going. Alright, got even more trees that you can hammer. Okay, so over there, we got ourselves a new enemy. So these are called Dark Puffs. Uh, 
Uh, so Dark Puffs, I believe, have three HP? Am I, am I doing that? Th yeah, three HP, two attack power. And what they'll do is they will do a still uh, charge at you. It's called a slam attack. And then what they'll also do is they'll actually charge electricity. And when they're charging electricity, you cannot do any physical contact damage to um, the puffs while, while they're doing that. Um, and then when they're... Oh, nice. Uh, and then um, when you actually give them a turn to actually for them to use that move, then um, it hurts. I mean, okay, maybe not that bad, because it is an early game enemy. Uh, it only does two damage, but... Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, you can actually block the, uh, the stage hazards, too. It is also worth noting that um, the Dark Puffs can actually are actually immune to electric, so none of the electric t attacks uh, will work on um, on them. All right, so then we, we want to want to go ahead and make our way up over here, and this is how you can get to this part. And then when you get to this part right here, you can hit this switch, and then the platform up there rises high enough so that way we can actually get to the other side. And that's the whole reason we we come over here. Also over here, you get yourself a star piece, and now we can go into this pipe. And then now we're going to actually make our way to, the, to uh, that side over there. Uh, for, before we do that, let's go ahead and use uh, Coops. As, as you can see, there is a Shine Sprite uh, kind of off in the distance there. Okay, what? There we go. Alright. And then here we go. Right, let's start to make this. Oh! Just like that. Ooh, Quake Hammer. I actually picked that up earlier. Uh, one of the enemies uh, happened to drop it. Quick Hammer is pretty much an earthquake move. Uh, it is very effective against those clefts, especially. Uh, so actually, since um, we are encountering a bunch of those types of enemies, um, I am actually going to equip it. Um, oh yeah, you can actually get multiple quantities of badges, um, and and there and when you uh, equip uh, multiple quantities of badges, the effects stack. Alright, so then we go and uh, keep on going uh, further ahead. You can see a house there in the background. Over here's a, FP, uh, uh, a uh, heal block. Which is good because I've been using quite a bit of FP. Wait a minute. Okay, yeah. That looked a little weird there, but right there you guys saw a Volt Shroom. Uh, Volt Shroom gives you uh, electricity. So that way, um, when enemies do contact damage on you, then um, you'll actually the enemies will actually uh, get damage back in return. Uh, so it's a really cool item. Uh, but later on, there will be an ability that will make Voltrums completely useless. Uh, but enjoy while it lasts.